I just dropped you guys. Good morning, guys. Welcome to my channel. It is 7.18 a.m. I just woke up. <laughs> I woke up 30 minutes ago, and I just brushed my teeth. So today, you're coming with me in my day in the life. My name is Jade. <laughs> if you're new here, welcome. I'm a 17-year-old entrepreneur trying to chase her dreams in LA, building businesses. Today's agenda is a little bit different. I'm gonna go to the gym, then I have an interview, and then I have a meeting. I just wanna show you guys the truth, what it's like, and most importantly, how to survive in LA. I'm doing this like series where I just like walk you through what you need to know. First step of the morning is the gym and then breakfast. So let's do it. So I was replying to you guys on DMs for like literally 30 minutes. So I'm back and I changed my clothes. I go to the gym in the USC and it's a funny story how I got in because it's meant for students and not for a 17 year old dropout. <laughs> So I'm walking towards the gym. Now you guys haven't seen the outer areas of where I am. There's no reason that I'm, I was just kind of embarrassed, but you know what, fuck it. I don't care if people laugh at me vlogging. I think it's just more of a mindset because I grew up kind of like in a smaller town and everyone was like, what the fuck is YouTube? This is called University Village. Where Trader Joe's a bunch and they talk about Target. This is literally where I hang out. It is so great. If you are trying to move in to California, go to a place where colleges are because you're in a place where young people are and good food and just energy. I'm back home and yesterday I went to the Grove croissant from the bakery. I'm currently warming it up. <sighs> Guys, I'm literally such an idiot. <laughs> it's like 9 a.m. I have an interview in an hour, right? I accidentally like was doing my brows and I shaved off like the top half. I don't know if you can tell, but this brow and this one kind of went somewhere else and I took my razor and I was like accidentally like, and then oh, we're gonna try to get ready and make this work. The first thing I'm gonna try is a little bit of brow gel. I literally have to be on camera and I ate a bag of hot Cheetos yesterday. What the hell? On filming days, I go heavy with the contour because the lighting is always so bright. Guys, I'm running late, but this is the outfit for today. I did my hair. I actually had to reply to a lot of messages with my clients. I'm running late, so I'm gonna go. So sorry, I'm late. Nice to meet you. How are you? I'm doing awesome. Yeah. And become an influencer and monetize off of it. Yeah. So I built kind of a coaching business on top. So one of them is just very young professional brands, uh, one of its apparel, um, and it's typically around the West. You know why you have to take care of yourself as an entrepreneur? Got it. I think it's my- yeah. Wow, it's so zoomed in. Hi, Hi guys. I'm here with Laura. Say hey. Hey, guys. Want to introduce the show, what you do? Uh, so I am the host of Millennial Life here on Focus TV, and I just had Jade on my show because Hello. I found her on YouTube, and I was obsessed, and I was like, Hey, you gotta come on my show because you are a badass. Are you like and subscribe? Am I like and subscribe? <laughs> I love Laura. I will link her. This is her Instagram. It's right here. It's like floating around. And Am I? Do you have a YouTube? I did. You, have you inspired me to start a YouTube. I was like, I'm gonna do it. There's a cool screen here, um, and there's cool lighting. And I just wanted to show you guys like background. Um, Gina, are you you're holding the camera? Just <laughs> Gina's holding the camera, and we just wrapped up. And I'll link below the episode if you guys want to watch. So. Yeah! Oh, oh, what is that? So after I, so after I watched Jade's video on the calendar and post-it thing, there, do you see that in the background? She's actually implementing, guys. She's an entrepreneur creator. <laughs> guys, I just finished up a interview at the Beverly Boulevard, and I'm, I think I'm gonna head out and get some lunch. I'm like in the middle of the city. So I'll catch you guys when I just get up lunch. It was so fun, literally. I'm obsessed with Laura. I'm obsessed with just entertainment. Like, it's just really fun for me. So thank you for guys. Take this opportunity, okay, I'm gonna stop. Okay, so I just parked my car. I'm currently on Melrose Avenue. If you don't know where Melrose is, it's like the place where everyone shops and eats and it's really packed. Oh my God, I just dropped you guys. I've seriously never been this thankful for you guys in my life. So I was walking, if you saw the clip, let's replay it. Dropped this camera. The lens couldn't open. I was sitting on Melrose crying because I thought I was gonna lose you guys. 
and then I literally was searching on eBay it was on like G7X because I was about to buy a new one and then out of the blue this camera literally there's like uh, and it like awakened and it started working again I don't even know what happened like there is a god <laughs> I was so scared anyways I'm eating a matcha green tea tiramisu who am I I'm just chilling because I was literally going to buy the $700 camera and then I ended up working so I'm gonna eat myself a good meal do you ever do that like you save yourself money and you're just gonna spend it on good food so that's me but I got a chicken pesto sandwich with a half salad and a green tea matcha tiramisu yum so I finished up lunch oh my god like sometimes it's really surreal for me to realize everything right now in life i didn't talk about this but I, it's my dream it's been my dream to work in entertainment i'm a violinist if you don't know i, I used to really be into dance acting to be on set it's kind of just it's just my dream and Thank you. Uh, I'm actually gonna head over to shop a little bit because I have more like events and interviews and I just realized I have no clothes other than sweatpants and crop hoodies, which is fine. It's just I need some stuff and I don't feel like shopping in Beverly and Melrose. I feel like I want to go to like a thrift store in La Brea. Yeah, so guys, I'm back place. What the? Hey guys, I'm back in the apartment and I changed into some lighter clothes because it's really, really warm in LA right now. I have to head over to Target and Trader Joe's to cook up dinner. So there's low-key a problem with my camera because I dropped it in the middle of the street. So we are suffering, but I was really thankful it's alive. I would cry if you guys couldn't be with me. We're gonna go to Target and Trader Joe's, like I said, and grab some dinner. It's currently 4 p.m. And I'm gonna cook you guys some food. Right? Thank you. I have this place called Cava, and it's a pita bread with the salad bowl with grains, falafel, and I believe feta cheese, and just, let's just try it. Honestly, it is really expensive, but I have to eat good to, to, to work good. Yeah. Wow. 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 So guys, I'm back home. I took a nap because after that meal, I took a fat nap. Good morning, everybody. It's currently 9.20 a.m. I woke up at like 6 a.m. Tomorrow, I have like a, a pretty big meeting. Most of you don't know what I do, which is okay. Probably because I recently just got traction in kind of my marketing agency i hate that word though like I, people ask me if i do smma which stands for social media marketing but but what i do want to show you guys is i'm filming all day humble your thoughts on today's video thank you so much i want to take you along this friday tomorrow's client is actually in downtown la i'll let you know if like i'm gonna like sign a contract with them basically they need help with getting more customers on their social media i'm trying to see if i can help them first and then i'll let you know if i close them and my job if you're curious is to go in there and give them strategy to how to grow their social and how to give basically make money and get their customer leads on point um, i also do this for music artists one of them i do have a client all the way in australia so i was gonna say there's a lemonade by me Oh really? Um, it's like 1 p.m. I filmed 10, no, 11 videos. 10 of them are for the app and one of them is for YouTube. I was kind of so drained right now and I don't know why because I had three cups of coffee. I think I'm gonna go outside. Um, I might go to the village. Like, I don't know why, but there's a certain point where creating content just gives you anxiety. Because, <laughs> yeah. I'm just gonna take a quick break. I can't focus anymore. It's really bad. My attention span should be longer. I'll show you guys what I do to combat that whenever I feel like to be honest I just feel super overwhelming and this is just me changing out of my filming clothes into something more comfortable and I realize why I'm so anxiety central um because your girl has an eight in literally like a few hours and just <laughs> and, I'm, and I'm running on caffeine and like a granola bar like this is very real I, I'm, I'm always pretty anxiety central but like today i'm really anxiety central and my heart just feels like really incapable to breathe so we're gonna go get some food because jade's about to blow up this is pretty bad i'm like kind of shaking right now so i never vlog at the trader joe's i don't know why but i got myself a salad and a water and i'm really excited because i literally can't move and i'm like shaking so this is the pasta i got i kid you not when i tell you this is one of the best things i've tasted not because i'm hungry because it's cheap 
and it actually tastes so good. This is the view for today. It's honestly so nice, and this is so yummy, and I feel a lot better. No wonder I was so bitchy. I was so hungry. Ah. I'm in my car now, and I'm driving to meet my friend Ryan for lunch, dinner, whatever. But apparently, in Hollywood Studio City, there's okay. I gotta drop. Oh my god! Hi. Oh my god! I was like, <laughs> <laughs> Who? Why? Where? Why a sweatshirt? Why a sweatshirt? I'm so hot. We're at Lemonade, and he's like, guys, there's no parking, so we go park. Where is it? Big Bob's Burger, but then. It's Big, big Bob. Big. But then the the officer dude was like coming out to me and he's like, Where are you parking? Wait, that and guy was an officer. <laughs> yeah, he was an oh. officer. <laughs> oh wow, she cute. She's one of the girls on that movie that I worked okay. Oh, just casually vlogging talking about the movie I was in, it's fine. Oh yeah, tell us about your movie. No, we shot I shot for here? a movie like here. One of these places. Oh really? Imagine all the French fries that I ate that I wasn't supposed to eat. you you ate them on set? How dare you, Ryan? I oh! I don't know how that you're gonna edit that. Oh, go right. Okay. Ah! Ah! No, go right! No, like behind them. Oh. I'll give it to you, no interruption. In your home, in your home, oh, on the phone, on the phone. We are being legends, skinny legends, and walking in the Hollywood Reservoir. Just as usual. We're talking about our like internet crushes too. Yeah, I'm who's your internet crush? 100% Grayson Dolan. Grayson Dolan. That's not a secret. <laughs> My male crush has been Tom Holland's and Harry Styles. But, but, it's not but our now. okay, I'm. Sp we need like an internet. There's like, not many internet. good looking internet people that are up to my standards. Well, mine's Alexis Ren though. Okay, Alexis Ren for sure. And you hate on Alexis. I don't hate on Alexis Ren. I saw your video. I never ever hate on her. I was so unemotional. No, I know. Okay, so like, what do you really like about Grayson? I'm all the above. Anyway, your app. Oh, my app. Okay, mm -hmm. so I guess I'll pitch it. <laughs> Wait, Wait, what's a thousand dollars? Smoking. Jade, put your math away. Okay, basically. A lot of people get all their shit on Instagram and YouTube for free. Free information's great. But the one thing people lack in growing their personal brand are step-by-step, process-by-process things. You're not gonna get a fucking checklist on Google. Mm -hmm. The way personal brand journey works is it takes personal you to- Personal brand, that's why it's PBJ. Yes, per I thought it was brand. peanut butter and jelly. No! Right, it has a little bit of like a familiarity because PBJ, everyone loves is a PBJ your, sandwich. Is your like, picture gonna be like a sandwich? Yeah, it's a sandwich. That's actually so funny. It's a logo, it's a sandwich. <laughs> Clyde Academy. I've heard school. these words before. There's just like, you know how it's like an educational platform where you learn courses and stuff? Yeah. So this is different because it's kind of like a Spotify for people who want to learn. So you can learn stuff mm -hmm. through audio and video content, but you can also put it onto kind of like your calendar app and notes. So the difference is it's all in one housing, but, um, or Alexa, Alexa can take over. Ciao. What do you think? Alexa is the, she's the home. No, 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 what do you think of the app? Oh, the app, no. It's on the App Store and Google Play, and you download it. it the business model is like Spotify, so it's freemium. There's a free model, there's a paid. Also, I think another question is like, where do you want to like go with it? Like, how do you want to, mm -hmm. So like, where do you want it to like go? Okay, there's multiple stages to the app. If you kind of, I repeat this really often, but if you struggle with growing your personal brand, mm -hmm. there's multiple stages, whether you're beginning, middle, or really advanced, like Ryan. Well, is it going to... So, is it gonna be helpful towards all types of like because that like we were talking about before like being like a talent versus being like a brand is kind of different like being, it's like, a personal brand so you have to be an influencer it's not necessarily for like a b2b so it's meant for an influencer like a person is that your question yeah like so this app basically helps you learn how to create your own true fan base so you can later monetize it um the direction we're trying to go in basically is because there's multiple stages once you reach the final stage it's like a game you're able to be kind of into like the bigger influencer community and work with the brands we work with. Um, is it gonna be directly? Is it gonna be for all social media? Is it like, is it gonna? Because mm -hmm. I feel like on YouTube you've done a lot of like Instagram. Is this gonna be kind of for like YouTube and it's everything? It's a personal too? brand journey. So everything, so everything between Instagram, YouTube, Facebook, blogging, YouTube, um, sure. LinkedIn. I don't actually know. LinkedIn. I'm just kidding. Like millennial influencers, <laughs> do we use LinkedIn? Uh, Tumblr, Pinterest, MySpace. Heck yeah, Tumblr. MySpace. Oh, just honestly. It's a fitness app for your personal brand. You get lesson plans. I'm back home and I'm actually editing a few videos now because of my app and I'm traveling the next week so we have to edit that. Thank you so much for watching this video. I'm gonna go work now and I hope you have an amazing night. Like this video and subscribe for more. Oh, shout out to the comment winner. Shout out to the comment winner. Comment on this post to be featured in the next episode. If you wanna be the next comment winner, comment below what you thought about today's vlog. 
I'll catch you guys in the next one. I love you and goodbye.